right so while i had a bad battery this is a new one i decided to take a chance to show how this thing wires up we'll start with this loom here comes down so there's three wires from the charging port there comes down there is a white wire that's going to the positive that one's going to go to positive from that same loom is a black wire it's going to go to the negative so that's the first set second set down here under this guy here now this one has been changed it says 2007 on it for whatever reason it's black i don't think it came from the factory black i think it was another color because right beside of it is actually this wire which is also black this one's going to the negative the one that says 2007 is going to the positive they are right beside of each other right there and i i, I don't know who did it black uh, but someone replaced this i'm assuming that this tape here is the distinguishing mark that they decided to use from there we go to the back of the golf cart see this loom here has a black this one goes to the negative keeps going turns red this red goes to the positive so that is the original connections okay so now that i have my battery in the first thing i'm going to do is connect all of my positives to my positive and then all of my negatives to my negative. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do, go from this negative to this positive. I hope that's showing up there with this cable here, there to there and then just go ahead and start bolting it down all right the next thing i'm gonna do is go from this negative to this positive right here this cable here actually I want to go like that and then go ahead and bolt it down now I actually have one more step on mine yours may or may not be like this right here this green wire this actually goes to my lights um, I'm not sure if it was from the factory like this or if someone added this but this is a 12 this is only for 12 volt this runs the lights to the golf cart so I'm only running this this battery to it so this is a 12 volt circuit for the lights so I also put it on top of that other 12 volt and bolt it down almost done all right so the last thing you're going to want to do to this more of a safety issue than anything you're going to want to bolt it down i just use a tie down i don't think it holds much maybe 200 pounds it's not a whole lot but that's the last thing you're going to want to do that's going to keep these batteries from moving around i don't really have it rigged up in any particular way that's actually the hook wrapped around a strut mount right there and that's that's it that is literally how simple this is this is um the entire process takes like 30 minutes if that um the hardest part is getting the batteries in and out that is literally the hardest part of this super easy super simple and it just works. All right. That's all it takes. Just a little bit of doing.